2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Certainly excited to seeing this one. Strap yourselves in. And let's see what he can do here today. Not bad. Time for the second shot into the first. That's nicely done. Putting for birdie here. Nice line. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. <laughs> Handy effort, that one. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? And from about 105 yards. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. That was special. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Looking really good, this one. Gets that one to go down, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Well, good-looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Oh, how good is that? Buries it for birdie as well. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. Quality shot, that one. Choosing the 9-iron here. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. What's in front of them, Henny? 
He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Like the look of this one. Super shot, that. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. The par three fourth at TPC Scottsdale. Fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again. Front, left and short right requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Wow, they really put on a show with that approach shot and their rival, Xander Shoffley, appears to be taking notice as well. This looks good. You can mark it down, that's birdie number four today. And that will take him to four under. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. This one's going right at the pin here. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Yep, tracking nicely. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Sitting at two under. Whew. Yeah, golf clap, really good. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four, 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold player is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but the safe strategy lays back before them. Good shot there, Beamer. Second shot here on the sixth. That could play. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for Booty here at the sixth. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. Of all the shots that I like the most, 
that one ranks right up there. Oh, terrific. What an effort. And that will take him to seven under. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. From around 140 yards here... He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Outstanding shot, high quality. There's part of about six feet coming up. Little birdie looking here. Well, what a performance, eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to eight under. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Finishing hole of the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a solid par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. The big hitters will get after this hole, as there's plenty of room down the left-hand side. Although if you challenge that bunker on the right off the tee, it gives you just a short wedge in to a green that's only guarded by a pot bunker at the front and then a back right bunker. A chance here to make a birdie. Well, that's a handy shot. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Five strokes behind our leader. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Yeah, nicely played. Trying to get to nine under for the event with this opportunity. Surely it's going to. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's head over to Xander Shoffley. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, my God. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. It's time to check on the leaderboard. And as we turn for home, Rich, always a good chance to reflect on the halfway stage of this round. Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is gonna play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete.
That a boy. Good shot. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's feeling good. Just birdied the last hole. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. That was a beauty. Right against the hole. This is what they do week in, week out. This rivalry, I mean, it's got to have been expected. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. And this part to move into the top five. Yep, tracking well. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Now four back after that hole. The 11th is a par four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a driver's close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 140 yards. This is looking pretty good in the air. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. OK, let's head to the next. Currently 11 under par for the event. The 12th for TPC Scottsdale is a par 3 measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided, although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, nice looking putt. Beautiful shot. He's currently sitting in third place. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Bertie here to really ignite your charge. Going with the five iron here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And this putt can move them one step closer to top spot on the leaderboard. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, Rich, that's the special stuff. Oh, beautiful touch there from just off the green. Nicely done.
Our current leader is up by three shots. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 155. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, that's beautifully judged. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Surely it's going to. Nice little putt to hole, that one. Currently 15 under par for the round. The 15th is a very important hole, the par 5, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, what a shot from the bunker. And here we are with the third shot. Just two shots behind. a gallant attempt and just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole no movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player welcome to the jungle or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale the stadium hole par 316 it's just a short club but you miss the green and a chorus of booze will ring out that's a pretty handy shot and this will give reason for the crowd to go absolutely bonkers here. An opportunity for a birdie here. Looking better. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. This is on a stupendous line. Let's take a look at the current standings. This dramatic finish at TPC Scottsdale has no shortage of options at the 17th, Rich. If you've hit the driver but you miss the green, you got to miss it out to the right-hand side to have any hope of getting it up and down for the birdie. However, you knock it on this green in one, you never know, you could make it two. Oh, don't you love the long ball, Rich? Drive your par four. Is there a few things more thrilling in the game? Oh, what a play. You know that. I love it when players are aggressive. Way to go. What a shot. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. A wonderful putt. And that puts some real pressure on their rival now. 
And let's have another look at that one. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side, and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. The approach into the final green at TPC Scottsdale is usually with a little bit of relief, Rich, because the water's behind you. Luke, the second shot at the 18th is fairly straightforward, but how confident are you feeling with 50,000 sets of eyes focused on you? This putt just five feet away from the hole. Looking good so far. Round now in the books. Good luck next time. 